People keep asking me why I became Mrs. Claus. I actually think that Mrs. Claus chose me. I wear a lot of pancake makeup and a lot of foundation. I wear white sparkly eyeshadow. She's from the North Pole. I, I feel like she needs to look frosty. I need at least an hour. <laughs> yeah, the wig does something right away. She's done a lot for my self-esteem and my courage. When I'm Mrs. Claus, the part of me that's just the extreme extrovert, just um, I, I will go up and talk to people. I find myself as Mrs. Claus doing things that Anne would never do. Merry Christmas! This is the same time. There's two of like the, the ones on the bottom are the peanut butter ones with the chocolate, and then these are the, those are the ice ones. It's very fat and good. It's terrible. When I was at Santa school, there were about 200 some Santas and there were 50 women. I cannot get gigs in New York City. I usually don't hear back at all. I have, when I do hear back, it's, um, we're sorry, we're looking for a Santa. Santa and Mrs. Claus should be like um, Meghan Markle and, and Prince Harry. They should just knock you out when they're together. New Yorkers are so used to seeing clowns go to work that I either get no reaction whatsoever or people will come down and talk to me and say, oh, where are you from? I say, well, I'm from the North Pole. I'm, I'm Mrs. Claus NYC, okay? <laughs> oh! Wonderful oh, tonight. Merry Christmas. Good to see you. Good to see you too. You've grown. Yeah. Oh, I uh, always I grow always a little bigger. <laughs> How are you doing? <laughs> I'm doing well. <laughs> have, a, have a nice day. You too. Merry Christmas. I think people are so used to seeing Santa. I, I definitely want to change it, and I would like for Mrs. Claus's to have more jobs. There's no reason why she can't be a bigger part of the iconography of Christmas. Mrs. Claus in the next five years is just gonna, she's having a revolution. <laughs>